Hey guys, welcome to Deeps TCG. I'm Devin, and today we're going to be taking a look at two brand new decks from Paldea Evolved. Those being, of course, Skeledurge EX and Ting Lu EX. Uh, Skeledurge is a heavy hitting stage 2 deck with a lot of healing potential, and we'll also be taking a look at Ting Lu EX, which is an ability lock deck. Uh, I've really been enjoying Ting Lu, and I've been playing it a lot, so you'll be able to see our matches here, and I hope you enjoy. So, see you over there. Alright guys, this is the deck overview for Skeletor GX, a brand new EX from Paldea Evolved. It focuses on Skeletor GX's Burning Voice attack, which does 270 damage, minus uh, one damage counter for each damage on the Pokemon. Uh, you're going to be powering this thing up with Armor Rouge, with its fire off ability, allowing you to move a fire energy from one of your bench to your active fire Pokemon. And Magma Basins, so the idea is to use Magma Basin, attach from the discard, and then you can use Armor Rouge to fire off directly onto the Skeledurge. It works uh, pretty well, honestly, uh, better than you would think, and you're able to take pretty big knockouts. Like 270 damage is a lot of damage, and a lot of Pokemon will succumb to it. Up next, we have Ting Lu EX, another brand new Pokemon from Paldea Evolved. This deck is mostly an ability lock deck uh, with Ting Lu's Cursed Land ability, allowing you to lock all abilities except for Pokemon EX. And you get set up with Coridon EX using its Dino Cry ability to attach two fighting early on in the game to the Ting Lu. Uh, you get your damage counter spread using Halucha, and you can move them around using Radiant Alakazam. Uh, I love ability lock decks, and this one works way better than you would expect also. These two decks are both mid-tier, but I hope you'll enjoy watching these games. Uh, they're both pretty fun, so I'll send you over to the games now. Enjoy. Welcome to this game one of this tabletop showdown featuring Skeledurge EX piloted by our favorite guy, Dylan. Favorite guy, Dylan. And then I will be over here piloting Ting Lu. Only guy who Karidon. thinks he's better than Deev in his own Tomodachi life. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and who does not have drugs in his act. Heads or tails. Heads, dude. please. Heads it is. I'm going first. Okay. <laughs> All right. Let's see what we got here. Uh-oh. All right, good to go. Yes, sir. All right. Okay, I'm gonna draw for turn. Okay. Hmm. And a fleet-footed for one. Sure. Ultra Ball away an Entei and a Cheryl. Okie dokie. Okie dokie. Yeah. Skeletor just isn't exactly the most popular deck I've seen around, but it's pretty interesting. And I do believe this is Dylan's first time playing it. I believe that would be correct. Um, we can do that. Look at that Badoof. Understandable. Badoof. Badoof. Yeah, man. Okay. And from there, I will just pass it over to you. Okay. I'm going to draw for turn. I'm going to... I'm going to do two actions here. So I'm going to battle VIP pass. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to ultra ball... Okay. All in one it. motion. So, my battle VIP pass will be a Ting Lu and a Coridon. Sorry. And then the Ultra Ball will be a Squawkabilly. Squawkabilly! Love Squawkabilly. Funny guy. Indeed. Okay. So 
there's that. Attach an EXP share there. Okay. And trekking shoes. Everything just got worse. <laughs> and keep it. Okay. And in retrospect, I did not need the squawk ability, but that's okay. And then I'm gonna use Dino Cry to end my turn and attach these two right there. Okay. I'm gonna draw for turn. Okay. I'm gonna put a shark debt down, evolve into Bibberol. Nice. I will use Industrious Incisors for two. Okay. I guess I haven't used free footed yet. So I will actually just do that. Okay. Okay. Attach for turn. Then I will chorus. Sure. What did you think of the DLC that was shown off recently? Looks pretty cool. Yeah? I forgot about that. It's just in the Nintendo Direct like a week ago or something? Yeah. Very interesting. It looks good. I've been hearing some people think about like, or um, some rumors about maybe something about Johto. Just because they keep showing off oh, Johto shit. Pokemon. Uh, it's okay I remember what it was. You good? Yeah. Okay. Is these two. Sure. I guess that's your side. Oh, yeah. Uh. <laughs> we love that. It's so weird to me that, like, it's so counterintuitive. Yeah, it's... From what I heard from a judge, the idea of having a lost zone above your prizes is because it doesn't create another pile on this side that could accidentally be drawn from or... Mm discarded into or whatever. Interesting. At least that's what I heard from a judge, so. Do that. And then I will simply pass it to you. Okay, I'm gonna draw. Play a trekking shoes. Play a trekking shoes. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna play down a halucha and use flying entry to put a damage counter there and a damage counter there. Then I'm going to research. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Play down a second Ting Lu. I'm going to attach mm -hmm. from hand. I will attach an EXP share there as well. Now. I'm going to use Painful Spoons to move 10 damage to this Ante. Okay. And then I will pass. I'll draw for turn. This Alakazam really be getting oh, in my way. Lucky Icy Pop. Yeah, whatever. Lucky Icy Pop. <laughs> lucky Icy Pop. Uh, oh. Uh, I guess I get a point for that. Come on. Come on. Let's go. There he goes. The hand. Attach an energy. Yep. Arvin? Okay. Four. Oh. Okay, these two. Sure. I'll use this, and I'll use it. Okay. Realizing we don't have a V-Star marker out, but that is totally fine. You'll just know, and I'll grab that as well. Sure. That was from the Arvin, just so you know. And that was from the Forest Seal Stone. I 
I will then rare candy that up. Fleet footed for one. Okay. I'll evolve down here. I probably don't have any in here yet, do I? No. So I will just burning Rondo for knockout. Okay. Bye bye, Alakazam. Bye bye. Whip Ting Lu. I will draw for turn. I'm going to attach down here. How many cards do you have in hand? I have five. Okay. Play an Iona. Make sure you put it on the bottom of your deck. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. And I will draw six. I'm going to put down a Spear Tomb. And then I'm going to use Land Scoop to do 150, and I will put 30 damage onto the Skeledurge, I think. Okay. We'll draw for turn. Okay. Moderately annoying. We'll attach from hand down here. No. Nope. I'll attach a tool jammer. Okay. Play a nest ball. Sure. Guys, actually, nice. Uh, probably not. Okay. Or wait, two, four, six, eight, ten. Two hundred twenty. Two hundred twenty. Annoying. Okay, I'll just bring Rondo for two twenty. Okay. I will put this there, indicating that I have twenty left. Mm -hmm. I'll draw for turn. Um, I am going to attach. I'm gonna land scoop, and then I'll put 30 on the Greninja. Okay. Oh. I will take my knockout. I don't really have a 30. Let's try it on there. Okay. 30 on the Greninja? Yeah. What is it? We were gonna look this up. Oh, right. Um. Uh, okay. Draw for turn. I'll attach for turn. Amphinobi. Amphinobi, right. <laughs> um. Take a look at this. All magma basin down here. Sure. So I'll do twenty. Okay. I'm gonna keep reaching for these. Um. And I'll vitality song for knockout. 
Okay. Heal 30 damage from each. Nice. Uh, sorry. The... Shoop. I think that's it. Uh, no. Total damage. No, it's only on the active. Oh, I see. So, one to each. Sorry, what? Because he got knocked out, he has an EXP share, he has an EXP yeah, share. Yeah, It's only on the active. Oh, I see. My bad. So these were on the bench? One tools attached to your opponent's active. Oh, I see. Yeah, okay. unfortunate. But that's how that works. I will draw. And Iono. Mighty unfortunate. Shoop. Myself will draw four. Gutsy pickaxe. Okay. I will attach from my hand. And then I will land scoop, do 150, and then 30 to the Bibberal as well. Bibberal? Okay. Draw for turn. Uh, pal pad. Okay. Uh, these two actually. Okay. Cheryl. Okay. Um, I will magma basin. Okay. That's pretty here. good, man. Yeah, pretty neat. Um, I will fire off. Okay. Two up here. And then I'll just burning voice for knockout. Cool. Holy smokes. Yeah. Holy smokes. Holy right. smokes. Maybe the skeleton just something, hey? <laughs> I'm kind of impressed, actually. Lu Ting Lu. Then I will just. Wild Impact for 220. Okay. I will draw for turn. Ooh. What can I do here? I can't really thin my hand all that much is the problem. I will play down a Fue Coco. Sizers for one. Uh, okay. Sorry, the land scoop has been doing 20, not 30. That's my bad. Oh. I don't no, think no, it no. would have affected any math. No, not at this point. Concealed cards for two. Yeah. For candy. Oh. Um. Some sort of way to switch should be okay. Uh, Magma Basin. Yep. Down here. Pretty. Oh, actually, I guess that doesn't really matter. Okay. Cheryl. Killer. Should have Magma Basin after. But. That is all right. Now we'll just pass it over to you. Yeah, I'm gonna draw. An ultra ball. Those two. 
Philodurge has big HP. 340 like really is a big. lot. I don't think there's anything I can actually even do here. Oh yeah, you can't attack unless you switch out twice. Nope, I'm just gonna pass. Oh jeez, hey. Yep. Uh, draw for turn. Uh, attach from hand. Magma Basin. Fire off. Fire off. Yeah. Burning Voice. Knockout. Game! Wow, that was oh, fast. Oh, wow. That was hasty. <laughs> hasty, boys. Wow. Wow, that Oof. was crazy. Okay, so, I know what you're thinking. Why are you here right now? I'm here because this next game is painstaking. Like, it went on forever. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna speed up the next clip, and I'm gonna narrate it, kind of, um, just to make your lives a little better. If you're not very interested in this, you can just skip to game three. Uh, there's timestamps in the description, but... Yeah, we'll just go right on into it, so... Yeah. Game two time! Welcome to game two. Welcome to game two. I'm just gonna do one more. I'm gonna go first. Two. Oh, I guess I can give it a more shuffle. Just... <clears throat> the camera. We did shuffle yes. preemptively, just so you know. But we'll give it one more for the, for the camera. Okay, so, as I said before, we're just gonna go over the video, because it is really bad. Uh, we didn't really have time to record another game, so that's why I'm gonna do this. Like I said, if you just want to see another good game, just skip to game three. Okay, so basically, I'm playing Ting Loot here again. Set up with the Squawkabilly. Um actually had a pretty decent start. The problem came when I didn't have a Coridon. Both of my Coridon EX were prized, so I basically just had to hand it back to Dylan. Um, he did nothing on his turn. I set up a Halucha, regrettably, because ideally you'd have more bench for that, but at this point I basically just have to set up with just energy from hand. He's setting up his Fue Coco also. Um, Setting an escape rope. My goal, obviously, is just to shut him down, but honestly, in this game, there wasn't much to shut down in general. Okay, so back to my turn. I played an escape rope. I played a second escape rope as well. Um, I wanted the Ting Lu on the bench so that I could use a gutsy pickaxe to get another energy on it, per chance, hopefully, but... You can only do so much. Um, he's focusing on his Entei, of course, which makes sense. I still end up locking his abilities for most of the game, though, so... that He can't fleet-footed because of the Spirit Tomb, and I can move the damage counters around on his Pokémon with my Alakazam whenever I want, so... Doesn't really make much sense. Um, plays a Chorus here. Don't think he got much off it. There's his Radiant Ninja. Unfortunately, next turn, it must be next turn, I ping him so the Greninja ends up useless again. Um, he's still trying his hardest to set up, obviously, so. He can take an easy knockout with the Entei on the Halucha, but only a single prize. There's my uh, pickaxe that I was hoping to hit. Um, that's why I kept that Ting Lu on the bench. So he's setting up more. Yeah, and I pinged the Greninja, so... Any Pokémon that would have an ability to help him set up is now pinged and basically useless. Um, he can play like a Lucky Ice Pop or a Cheryl, but... I guess he couldn't even really Cheryl since they're all stuck being basics. Puts up his Radiant Greninja, uh, tries to attach. He's basically just setting up another Entei, if I'm not mistaken. He does have the Armourouche set up, so he can always fire off with the Magma Basin. 
meaning that he can always get the energy to do the attacks he needs to do. The thing is, is that Ting Lu is just really bulky, so honestly, most of the time it doesn't matter, and I can take it out pretty easily, as you can see. Two attacks from a Ting Lu that I powered up basically just by hand, so. Really, this is like the least ideal game you could have. So there I pinged the Armor Rouge, so now he's stuck again with no abilities at all. And it's just like that for basically the whole game. And I win. I basically move. I win the game using Alakazam and just moving damage counters. That's really it. It was awful. It took forever, so I sped it up. Um, I'll put you over to the next game now. That one was actually good, so... Yeah, see you there. Shinji, crank that soldier boy. Yeah, I'll put the, you... uh, I'll put the audio in there, don't you? All right, cool. <laughs> All right, uh, I'll go first since I lost the last one. So there's my seven. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Okay. All right, you ready to go? Yeah, I suppose. <laughs> you suppose? Oh, dude, mustache. I'll draw for turn. Oh, dude, mustache. You're, you're gonna love me for this one. Ching sure. Lu. All right. Battle. <laughs> VIP pass. Here we go. Let's <laughs> check this with my hand real quick. Yeah, probably fine. Okay, Coridon. As well as Squawkabithy. Alrighty. So there's that. Gonna play a gutsy pickaxe. Unfortunate. I'm gonna squawk and seize. Jeez. For six. You really gotta put in all the work if you wanna get off that beautiful Coridon, which yeah. I do. As I will currently do. For only one, but it is your turn now. Okay, draw for turn. Oh, nice. That's my. Life a bit easier. Mess ball. Yeah. And I did put out the Greninja there, just in case you did not see. I just realized that a second VIP Fight pass. <laughs> what? I just realized that a second VIP pass. Oh, oops. I wasn't really paying attention to that, but it's okay. I don't really need it. Oh, well. Okay. From there, I will conceal the cards for yep. two. Well, nest ball. Okay. Once again. For empty. Gonna go right back in as well. Yep. Ball. Sounds good. For a shark cadet. Understood. Char cadet. Char cadet. He's a cadet, didn't you know? He's charred. That too. It all adds up. Okay, and then Nestash. Or what? All right. Okay, I'll draw. Gonna attach. Ooh. Trekking shoes. Gonna halucha. So one damage there. 
And then, or sorry, on these two. And then I will land scoop for the knockout, and then 20 damage on the Greninja, yeah. They yeah, figured. Thanks for just guessing. Okay. I'm hoping it was awesome. true. <laughs> Alright. Draw for turn. Yeah. Evolve. Yeah. Hmm. It's a 10. Yeah, I know. This is painful, actually. Um, I guess I'll just pass it over to you. Okay, I'll draw. I'm gonna land scoop and then do 20 to the Greninja. Uh, no prizes, sir. Okay, <laughs> you better be good. <laughs> no. 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 Alright. Escape rope. Yeah, that's what I thought. Jerk. Well, what do you expect? I mean... Attach. Okay, I will draw. Switch. And... I will land scoop for the knockout, and then I'll put 20 on the... We cook today. Okay. Draw for turn. <laughs> I'm gonna try to attach. Yeah. Gonna research. Jeez. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Catch a EXP share. Trekking shoes. And then I will land scoop for the knockout, and I'll put another 20 on the Fui Coco. <laughs> Draft for turn. Arvin. There we go! Now no. he's digging. No. <laughs> What's the play? What's the play, man? Nice ball. And for a seal stone. Entei? Entei. Yep. For a seal stone. Chorus? Um, if I have one. Yeah, sure. Might as well. We'll give it a try. Alright. Need a few things though. Theoretically possible, very difficult. <laughs> Is it even possible? Uh, to take you out? No. <laughs> well, I know that, but. Um. All right. Now it's. Definitely not possible. <laughs> um, oh no. <laughs> Attach, retreat. Yep. Fleet footage. Okay. One. Go for it. Okay, I'll draw. Pull me out of my misery, please. Spear tomb. Wow. Attach. That's it. <laughs> and then I'll land. Scoop. 20 on the Bidoof.
Draft for turn. Yep. I don't think there's anything I can do. Go for it. All right, I'm gonna land scoop. Cool. <laughs> I'm gonna super scoop super this game. Super scoop. <laughs> All right. Well. Good game three. Good game three. Good game three. Tinglu wins. Somehow. Somehow. I mean, you saw that first game. That no, was the first crazy. game was extremely commanding, and then the next two were just not. Well, the second game was kind of anybody's. Yeah. Um, well, that was just a wacky game. That was a little weird. I think <laughs> I think I'll speed it up. Yeah. <laughs> I think I'm gonna put. I'll do a voiceover. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good idea. Yeah. yeah. All right. Well. That's it for these games, yeah. so I'm going to put you over to the outro now, outro. and uh, yeah, see you there. Anyways, guys, that was our video for Skeledurge EX and Ting Lu EX. Let us know what you thought in the comments below. Are you going to be playing Skeledurge or Ting Lu at your league? Um, I know I am. I'm a big fan of Ting Lu. Uh, anyways, the support recently has been super immense, and I greatly appreciate everyone. I say it every video, but... I really do. Uh, I wanted to add that we're super close to 100 subs, so if you're not subscribed already, uh, maybe just hit that subscribe button below. It helps us out a ton. Uh, anyways, that's pretty much it. You can check out our other videos. Um, yeah, so see you in the next video. Bye. I hate this caviar guy. Yeah. Man! <laughs> Come on! Uh...